name is Reverend Ambassador Joseph Mwibo. I am the chairman South so I'm the of South Zulu. Both on social media and uh, television. Yes. Of leader and in yes. Nigeria expecting in a time like this. Thank you very much. Nigeria is a country that God loves so much. If not, the trends and development and other social, political upheavals that we have had in Nigeria would have terminated the, this, this entity called Nigeria. But Nigeria has been sustained by God. In 2023, during this election, it is our prayer and our expectation that God who loved Nigeria would now give us a God-fearing leaders. That is number one. Number two, leaders that consider the people first before project. Because all the leaders that we have been having consider project first before people. You know why? Because of the kick back, kick left, kick front, what they gain from the project. When we, before we carry out the project or any developmental project, these projects are there for the benefit of the people, the common people. Do we need it? Do they need it? Is this for their development? Is it for their good, their economic development? For their social development, academic, and so on and so forth? Not what I, as a governor or president of the nation, will gain from it. No. Is this for the people? So, in the second place, the leaders we need in the, in the, in the whole Nigeria is leaders that can fear God, that Thirdly. can also the leaders we need are the leaders that are youth inclined. Youth oriented. We cannot build future for our youth, but we can build our, our future. We can build our youth for the future. Our youth are the leaders of tomorrow. And so everything that we're doing now should gear towards developing, bringing it is our youth so that they will take over from us. We're already going. The youth are coming up. What programs do, does government have for our youth? Academically, spiritually, economically, and so on and so forth. These three, three part areas are the areas that government should look into. Our youth need, need employment. Our youth need type of curricula that will have synergy, have relationship between universities and the society. In developed countries, what they do is that they look at the needs of the society and they de develop curricula that will help the youth to develop skills that will help to solve the problems in the society. But in Nigeria, opposite is the case. Most of the courses and the uh, disciplines in our universities are irrelevant to the needs of the society. And that is why our youth that come out of the universities are turned into labor market. They don't have any employment. They don't have anything to do because all that they studied in the university are all irrelevant. They are not effective. They cannot do anything in the society. Coming leaders 2023 should be leaders that will consider all these things. Again, the, the leaders that we expect come 2023 should be leaders that we consider not only their own interests, but the interests of the less privileged. To me, the best government is the government that, re that remembers the disabled, I mean the blind, the lame, the widows, orphans, those that cannot help themselves. And that is the meaning of democracy. Democracy means government of the people, for the people, by the people. It means it's a government that even the least woman in a village can have a say. It is a government that is comprehensive, taking into consideration the totality needs of the, the, the people concerned. That, that these are the leaders, not the leaders that are selfish, that wants to prolong themselves in the position. I know power is good, money 
is sweet. Once somebody enters there, he doesn't want to come out. That is where he wants to go from chairman to house of assembly to governor to house of rep uh, to senate and to presidency. Yes, that's all good. To, to, to desire to be a leader is good. But why do you desire to be a leader? In America, somebody desires to be a leader because he wants to solve the societal problem. But here, people want to be a leader because they want to solve their own personal problems. No, our principle should be God first, people second, and I last. These are the leaders that when you give them power and money, they will develop our, our country. The sky will be our starting point. And lastly, what type of leaders do you need? It is a leader that will look at the, uh, the, the, the strategies of developing God-given resources. You agree with me that Nigeria is one of the countries God loved most in the whole world. We have all these solid and liquid natural resources scattered everywhere in Nigeria. The north has their own, the, the south, the west, the central, we have all these resources. Now, leaders, how do you harness all this? It is a leader that is not only uh, oil-minded. We need a leader that is that's fight. Nigeria needs to be industrialized. Oil is just one of the ways God wants us to live good. And if this, these resources are managed well, in Nigeria everybody is supposed to be a millionaire. But because of mismanagement, because of selfishness, because of all this looting, misappropriation, le, le, taking our money overseas and all this and that and that. Because they want to store this money for themselves, for their children and children's and children's children's children's. It brings down our economy. Nigeria is one of the richest countries in the world and yet is one of the poorest countries. How is that possible? The richest and the poorest because of our bad leaders. So nationally, we are rich. We are one of the richest. But bringing down to the people what people benefit. Be this, this oil blessing is now oil cost to us because our people are using it to maltreat the downtrodden. We need leaders that will be mindful of the safety of the security of people. What people need is security, protection, defense. Once these things are given, you see that everybody, because this is a capitalistic country, you see that our, our economy will grow. May God help Nigeria. May God give us God-fearing leaders. May God give us leaders that consider people first before project. May God give us leaders that consider the future of our youth. May God give us leaders that are security conscious, that will not be clear people. And lastly, we need a country that rule of law is in place. One of the major problems in Nigeria is that we don't have rule of law. Everybody is supposed to be equal before the law. There are some certain groups or religious that are giving preference over others. They keep people at random. They are never brought to book. They are never brought to court. They just like that. And if it is like that, how do we expect stability? How do we expect economic growth in a country where there's anarchy? I pray that God will visit Nigeria with good leaders come 2023. And I'm effigying that we are going to have a new Nigeria where security, prosperity, economic st stability, and everybody... If there is anything that I would advise our team in youth in Nigeria, it is to avoid Togri. Togri means used and dropped. Our leaders will always involve the youth because they are inexperienced, because they don't see any danger. They think that because the big man is there, nothing will happen 
to them. Something will happen to you. You can be killed in the process. You can lose your life. But look at these leaders that want to use it as a talk. Is there enough for any of their children there? Their children are studying overseas. Their children are in school. They're building their children for the future to hand over the country to them, to use you as a platform to climb. And after climbing, it will drop you. Let our youth be wise. Life has no duplicates. They will buy guns and buy all these dangerous guns and say, go and fight. Go and kill my wife. You will be killed in the process. A lot of youth are languishing in, in, in police net, in prisons. Hey, I visit prisons, I mean, uh, frequently, and I see a lot of them. Be wise. That is my advice to the youth. Be wise. Come in election. Don't be used as a, as a talk. Because maybe you are caught, maybe free, and you may be arrested, and the leader will not be opportunity to come and bail you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, The Mirror TV, on YouTube. Subscribe and follow us as we shall be giving you updates here in Ebony State and across the globe. Thank you and God bless you as you subscribe.